we also discussed the issue of various statements that were made by some of our ministers and MLAs, and I've told PCC president, anybody falling out of party line, uh, we have warned, and I again warn very clearly and categorically, no minister, no MLA, no party leader should be violating the party discipline. Anybody who does so is doing a huge disservice to the party. And anybody who does not fall in line, then the party would have to think of taking appropriate action. We want that the entire state cadre, be it a block congress president, district congress president, frontal organization, MLA, M for MLA candidates who could not make it ministers or other functionaries in the government who belong to the party, must always look at adhering to party's discipline and ensure that the party's agenda is implemented. So I've conveyed that to party president in no uncertain terms. And if necessary, then we will have to crack the whip. Uh, I hope it will never come to that for we are one large family. And any difference of opinion that anybody has, they are welcome to come to me and express any opinion they have inside the party forum. They are welcome to go to the general secretary organization and convey their opinion. They are welcome to meet Congress president who happens to belong to the state or the chief minister and convey their opinion. But we will accept no public statements on that account. So these were the broad discussions uh, which I pointed out to you. Uh, you are welcome to ask any questions. First I will request PCC president if he wants to add something. Any questions? No party MLA is authorized. Since I was answering your question, no party MLA is authorized to say any such thing. What the party will do is within the party forum. There is a government in place and we are running that government efficiently. The MLA should be looking at development of their constituency. The MLA should be looking at any policy measures that need to be taken by the government so as to serve the people of Karnataka better. That is their job. And I have advised them and I am again advising them that they should restrict themselves to looking at the agenda of progress and development that Congress party is setting out to do within their assembly, within their district. And if they want a policy to be tweaked or changed or altered, which can better help us administrate the state, they are welcome to come and tell us. Thank you. Sir, this is 